Hello YouTube and welcome to Gazi's x -ray. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Xbox One controller. Not one, but two, and you can set up multiple controllers at the same time. And also I'm going to be showing you how to set up your headphones uh, so you can listen while playing your games. Coming up after this brief intro. Alright, so first I'm going to be using the wireless adapter for Windows 10, which allows us to control an Xbox controller wirelessly and it's look very simple and has a look like a flash drive i guess and it's got one button here for syncing our controllers so let's plug in our device to the computer with the extension cord that comes with it on your windows 10 computer heads to properties and device manager and make sure your device have been recognized and their network adapter. It's called Xbox Wireless Adapter for Windows. And if you have any mark on top of your uh, adapter, just look for an update by searching for an update online. And it's gonna look for your drivers. And uh, most of the cases, it just recognize your Xbox Wireless Adapter and it should start flashing whenever you push the sync button. Get your Xbox One controller and power it on and click on the sync button until the lights stop blinking. Once it stops, we can now play some games. I'm gonna try Steam, Rocket League, and it looks like it's controlling the game. But more importantly, you can play Xbox One games from your laptop wirelessly with a wireless controller. And I love this uh, option on Windows 10 and I think it's make a lot more sense here. If you wanna play with multiple players and you have another controller, just press the sync button and do the same setup where it should uh, blink like this. Bring your controller, power it on, and push the sync button. And you will be able to play co-op on Steam or on Xbox. And also if you wanna listen to music using your headphone jack, for now you can only use your Xbox One to update your firmware on your controller by going to settings and then device and accessories, choose your controller and update it. I think in the future, Microsoft's gonna have a downloadable file so you can update your firmware using your Windows 10. But for now, if you own an Xbox One, you can just update your firmware and you can use your headphones. These headphones are a lot better than the one that comes with the normal controller, so I'm gonna try it. That's the last of them. Find the override for the blast shield so we can see what we're up against. As you can see, the gaming experience is much better with a wireless controller on my Windows 10 computer with some nice headphones. Hope you guys like this video and if you want to support the channel and see more videos like this, please subscribe and see you in the next one.